Hello guys, the Water Strider here, and welcome back to my Pokemon Blue Nuzlocke. Now, in a previous episode, we have defeated Lieutenant Surge and received the Thunder Bag. We also received a very powerful move this early in the game, Thunderbolt. While I'm at it, I'm heading towards Rock Tunnel to reach Lavender Town and call a new team member, Onyx, who is known as Solid Snake. And... This might be some sort of a slight problem for a few reasons. One, Onyx is on level 15 and my team is on level 25. At least around it anyway. Um, secondly, is that... Well, the next gym leader is Grass-type. And most of my Pokémon have a disadvant type disadvantage to it. So they could be weak against it, which could be a problem. Even if my team is overleveled, their Pokemon's quite overleveled as well. And look at that. Our first thing in Meowth on level 23 against level 15 Onyx. But it's a good thing Onyx is a rock type and he can pretty much take hits. Wow, that actually did quite a bit. Although he's using Growl there, which is not good. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to use Bind. It's a risky move, I know, but... Actually, that could work, actually. Yeah, make sure that he cannot move. Get in there. I'm just gonna squeeze his cat's brains out. That's not, it sounds a bit cruel, I, I apologize for that. But well, Pokemon logic. Hopefully I'm not gonna spend this entire episode just spamming Bind over and over and over again. It's like taking one damage. Come on, man. Then again, Meowth is using Growl. Stop missing. Heyday. Oh, shoot. Wow, really? Why am I worrying? Honest has got really good defense, even though he's got poor health. And I mean, poor health. Come on, he should be down by now. How many health does he have left? Okay, now he's got one. Now he's got one. Hopefully uh, that should be an instant level up for this. Because Meowth is like eight levels ahead of mine. Finally! Oh, what? Oh, come on. You should, you should give me much more experience for that. You should give me much more than that. Seriously. I mean, how much experience does Onyx have left in him anyway? Wow, it half of my experience points. Just half. It's a good thing I left some of these trainers behind. Still though. Speaking of rock types, there's you dude there. I'm not too sure to be honest with this one. I'm gonna get Hell Hydra on this one. Yeah, it's kind of cool because I got two Pokemon. Are kind of like snake like servant like Pokemon. I mean, we got Onyx, who's a rock and ground type, and I got Gyarados, who's a water and flying type. Which, they may be the longest Pokemon in terms of height. At least to the first generation, anyway. Yeah, switching to Hell Hydra wasn't the best idea. And oh my god, he used self-destruct! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shoe! That was lucky! That was lucky! It just suicided itself to kill me! And that took a lot of health. To be honest, I was about to have a heart attack there because self-destruct pretty much kills, at least at this point in the level. I mean, if Aqua Bowser was like low and leveled, and maybe this, and it'd probably be the same level as Judah, then he probably would have died. Just wiped out Onyx. And still no level up. Come on, man. Uh, how, how was that fair for committing suicide? With your Q, dude. Alright, let's get up there. See what 
other creators I need to take down. Oh, there's one. There's one. I'm taking Rock Tunnel to go to Lavender. Yeah, I'm kind of dreading to go to Rock Tunnel, to be fair. Because I don't have Flash. Which, to be honest, this could make of a make of a challenge to go through Rock Tunnel in Nuzlocke mode. Like, pick black. And that Hyper Fang did nothing to, on to Solid Snake. A quick attack. Yeah, let's go do like... Yeah, I was just gonna think of like one or two health. And finally we got a level up here. And wow, that's a lot of HP. Probably by three though, which is a good thing. And it's Diglett. I'm gonna get Aqua Bowser on this one as well. Probably because Diglett is much faster and he can spam Dig and probably wipe out Solid Snake. Yeah, there's that, but I'm not gonna risk it. And get out here, you little sausage. With a mouth, I don't know. Speaking of snakes, there's Ekans. Uh, let's get Solid Snake out once again. This is a snake battle. I hope to God, not poisoned. But question is, is Ekans faster than Onyx? Probably. Let's see what happens. Oh no! I'm faster. Oh, that gets better. Paralyzed on the spot. Ooh! That is good, that. That is so good. Good thing he's not using any poison type moves, neither. He just wrecked, man. Wow. And the Sanctuary, which... I'm gonna leave Onyx out and then switch back because I want to give um, Solid Snake some experience points. I kept saying Onyx. Just say Solid Snake, man. Come on. There we go, he comes to stand attack spamming. And it's gone. And another level up there. Can't measure up how long Onyx is. I can tell you that. Or you can, but you know what I mean. Have I, have I first this hiker? Ha ha ha, I'll do a little toughie. 1v1 me, scrub. Let's go. Let's go, scrub. It's like, oh, 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 oh. Oh, let's go, Q dude! Q dude. Now, I better keep an eye on self destruct. Okay, I'm gonna get the stats first. 50 for Gyarados. I know it's a special move, but. I don't know about this one. I really don't know about this Q dude. Okay, defense curl, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to Hill Hydra, heal Aqua Bowser, switch back out, and then destroy, because I know that self-destruct won't do much. Okay, now's a good time to switch, because it just used Rock for on me. And Hell Hydra is one of the best members of my team. I can't I can't lose him now. I cannot lose him. But luckily, this water gun will do the job. No comment on critical hit. No comment. And my chop. Hmm. It could use cry chop, which can easily wipe out on Solid Snake. Wait, once again, I'm gonna get Hell Hydra this time. Because at least then, um, Black Chop's not a rock type, but thank god. And the fact that I'm a flying type, which does very little damage to my chop. Now let's give Backdrop a Thunderbolt. Oh boy. Well, that did little with the critical hit, so I'm okay with it. 17! Alright! And another Q, dude. Okay. Let's get, let's go, Solid Snake. But then again, I'm going to switch you out anyway, because I can't, you know, risk it. I mean, maybe if Onyx slows... I don't know, Dig or Earthquake? 
then. That would have been a lot more helpful. See, his Q-Doo is now drenched. And level 25 Aqua Bowser, all right. And what was that, Scrub? What is that? Me reckon you. So long. Wait, why am I walking? Why am I walking? Forget that. Yeah, I wanted to do that. And it's a Spiro. A level 16. Does Solar Snake know a rock type move? No. No, it doesn't. I wish it did. I really wish it did. No, a rock type move, because that would have been so much helpful wiping out Pokemon like Spiro and Piggy. <laughs> Let's go heal up once again. And then I'm gonna access Rock Tunnel. God help me now. God help me with Rock Tunnel. I'm kinda dreading it. I'm absolutely dreading Rock Tunnel now. And I'm gonna explain to you why when I get down there. Or if I defeat this lass. That first, then a break. Happy to the Pokemon Kingdom a few times, but I lost each time. I'm a scrub. <laughs> I like how Pokey's like, no, 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 no. You cannot access Rock Tunnel. No, no. Ugh, a Pikachu. Well, I can't learn electric type. Move, so that will help. And I could just body slam it to death. A 28 foot long snake crushing a 1 foot 4 mouse. Uh, that's cute. He's got a growl at it. That, that's just cute. And also, fat Pikachu. Squash, just a pancake. And a Clefairy. I don't, I don't think I've seen one of these yet. Haven't I? I think I might have in the in the older episodes, but I'm not entirely sure. Probably have. Although that double slap might get annoying, no? Ooh, another critical hit. I'm actually surprised Solid Snake is miles faster than, than Clefairy. because he's slow. He's a lot slower. Ah, oh, here we go. Here comes the spamming. Okay, that was only twice. That's okay, because I'm going to spam bind. Oh, come on, really? Okay, that's fair. That missed. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to tackle it. Come on, really? Oh, wow. Not dead, and yet it knows sing. Great. Oh, woke up. There you go. See? He's not giving up. He is not giving up. Well done, Solid Snake. Well done. You not you ain't giving up. And for a bonus, a level up. Wow. Oh, it blew it again. You should think twice before slapping me. Right, gonna heal up first. Take a break by saving the game. And here we go. Saving the game. I'm gonna dread to this. Alright, so welcome back. Now, let's do this. Let's just go on and do this. I cannot see anything. I can see the walls, but I don't know what train is I can see there. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm gonna get bombarded by Zubats. Yeah, as if Rock Tunnel wasn't annoying enough. When I was a younger lad, I, I got lost so many times. Because I didn't know where Flash was at the time. Like, I do not know how to get it. And I think it's even worse than Fire and Leaf Green because... Everything is black, except... You got a circle light around you. You know, tunnel vision. But still, I, I, I find this to be a living hell for me when I was a kid. Well, when I didn't have Flash anyway. I'm gonna have fun with this. Oh, there's a trainer there. Pokemon, fight! Ready? Go! Who's talking to me? 
shouldn't do that, man. You shouldn't make me jump in a cave because you don't know what's where have you been and all that. Oh, a Cubone. It was a ground type, so I better bail right now. To let's just get Aqua Bowser again. Let let's just get him out. Cubone is probably one of the most depressing Pokemon ever. No matter, he's wearing the skull of its dead mother. That's just depressing. I mean, who does who does that? I mean, yeah, you know, his mom beat, you know, the whole mother thing being with him up in heaven and all that. But still, this is just just depressing for a kid's game. I mean, what age rating is this? Rated three plus? Rated E? My god, man. You know, Pokemon comes up with weird, weird stuff in terms of the Pokemon origins. And sometimes they don't even show it into the games. And I look at Cactor and Ruby and Sapphire. Apparently his, his blood is sand. Or something like that. Or in Generation 5, Chandelure burns the souls while leaving the bodies behind. I mean, come on, you, you don't see that in the Pokemon games. They just said it just so you can invent creepypastas. And there's about Zubat there. Well, let's go, Snake. And I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna tackle it, actually. It missed, didn't it? Oh, yeah, I wasn't really paying attention there. To... So... This is, this is gonna take forever, this. Because I'm not gonna waste time doing some grinding over and over again. And um, this is getting a bit tedious already, to be fair. I'm literally holding the controller with one hand and just pressing the A button. I mean, if I wrecked the Pokemon with one hit, then I would have been fine with it. But now it's taking like, what, seven turns just to kill this Zubat with my level 18 solid snake. Let me guess, another Zubat? Yep. I hate Zubats sometimes. I really hate them. Like, from generation 1 to 4, you see these everywhere in caves, and you see them like 90% of the time. Good thing they stopped this in Gen 5 and generation 6. Hell, in Generation 6, you only see Zubat once. Well, at least in X and Y. And I don't think I've seen him that much in um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And there's another Zubat. Come on, really? This is literally the fifth Zubat I've seen. And uh, I'm not trying to be accurate, so... How much damage does it take to Body Slam? Well, at least it's Powerized, so... But it's still gonna fight back anyway. I can't be bothered using bind because that'll take even more time. Critical hit. Why can't it just kill it? Come on! And that leech life is getting on my nerves. It's one of the most crappiest moves ever, in my opinion. I mean, it does a tiny amount of damage, and yay! Solid Snake leveled up. Can it learn a move? Thank you, and it was a rock type move! Finally, to take out those annoying Zubats! And I'm gonna take away. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna take away Bind just for the sake of this Let's Play because it goes on and on and on. And the fact, you know, Solar Snake is kind of slow. As soon as I'm about to make it to the ladder. As soon as I'm about to make it. Although, this should make this a lot easier now because with Rock Throw added. I can just one shot it. I'm just gonna switch the moveset. Let me switch. There we go, my select button wasn't responding at the time. Don't worry, my controller's fine, don't worry. See, that's more like it. Alright. I'm in another room and another Zubat. No? Oh, finally, something fresh. Well, at least to this area anyway. I mean, I've seen plenty of Q dudes like so many times now. And let's go get. Hang on, does New Queen know like a ground or rock type move? I can't remember. It's been a while. 
Screw it, I'm just gonna throw a Kiva dude on the ground. Because he's a pebble, and you know, you tend to throw rocks around. Not windows or anything like that. God, no. You know, skipping rocks across the river. Smack. Although, it's a shame that Seismatos doesn't have any, like, super effective effects onto, onto his weakness, because it's a fighting type move. Right. So, where the- Oh, come on! It's a gear dude there, yeah, but, you know, cut me up, just, just give me a break! I just want to get the hell out! press Needle Queen, but screw it. I'm just gonna run. I can't be bothered with this gear, dude. Where the hell am I going? It was that? Oh crap! So what? Someone's after me. I drew a Pokemon when I'm home. Do you have a flashlight? Who is it? Oh, it's just a creepy, uh, creepy guy with a creepy slowpoke. Who's a level 25? Jesus! It's just the same amount of level as my highest. Oh well, it'll probably go in one hit with Thunderbolt with Hail Hydra. One shot kill, please. And critical hit. Why am I not, why am I surprised? A Poke Maniac. He's a creepy weirdo. You exo you didn't do anything! You only used like one attack and that was it. Where am I going now? Oh, who's that? I don't have to come here, but I will fight you. Is that actually, yeah, it sounds like a shit because of the music playing. All right. Is she trying to touch me with that pose? Indicating where she's going, because I'm pretty sure she's lost too. Oh, there's a grass type there. God damn it. Let's get Nido Queen out, because Nido Queen's a part poison type as well. So, it should do normal damage. Oh, for God's sake, I'm stunned. I'm just gonna... F I'm just gonna throw all this out of the way. Oh, no, it's not very effective. That's odd. Go on, throw that annoying little weed out of the way. It looks like weed as well. Is this what Odic is really gonna do? Just spam and absorb? Wow, that's quite a bit actually. And I'm polarized on the spot. Come on. Just throw that boy little bitch out of the way. Stop. Stop draining me! Keep draining me, I'm just gonna keep throwing you against the wall. Bang! Right on the wall, wall, on the head. Oh, it's a Bulbasaur. Hey, Bulbasaur! Let's switch. It's a Bulbasaur, then switch back. Who's a level 22 as well. Right. Let's go get... Ooh, I'm having... You know what, let's get Hell Hydra right now. Because i got a feeling he's going to level up very soon. Growl, but it failed. That's good. I'm just gonna keep chomping it now. Mmm, apparently tastes delicious. Ow, that hurt, man. That, that hurt. Wow, I was right. He did level up. Nice. Oh, I lost. Oh, wow. Are you gonna stay here in the dark cave or what? Wow, even the menu's dark. Actually, no, I'm not going to use a super potion. Do I have a polarized heal? Oh, I do have an escape rope. No, I don't. Alright, let's have a look around first, see where I'm going. I think I'm on the right way. Oh, someone's coming. Do you know about costume players? Wait, what? What the hell are you dressed up as supposed to be? Are you a scientist or is some weird-ass superhero wannabe? Ooh, a Charmander. This'll be good because I can just throw these rocks at Charmander. 
See, thank God I do not use Charmander in this Nuzlocke. Otherwise, I probably would have died a long while. I probably died like in the fourth or fifth episode. Level 20! See, things are catching up now, uh, and that's glad. I hope we keep this up. And there's a Cubone. Alright, let's go get... Let's get, let's get Aqua Bowser. Man, I was struggling to think there. I don't know why. Use a bone club. Whoa, that took a lot. For a critical hit, that took like a third of my health. Growl, it doesn't really matter. Hold on, I'm just going to bite it, see what happens. Yeah, I should have used Oh, never mind, because he attacked, but it missed. That was a good one. Yeah, it is that. Now, I hope I'm going on the right way. And another Pokemon appeared! Okay, so I'm sick of seeing Zubat, but now I'm getting bombarded by Q-Dudes now. Forget the Q-Dudes, because the copy Bobby with the switch-ups. Now, where the hell am I going? There's a Zubat! At least I could throw rocks at it now. Get rid of those damn bats! Oh wow, it's not dead in one shot. Although I took one damage when Zubat tried to bite me. Oh well, it broke its spines and died. What's this up there? I have no idea. Oh, there's another trader, isn't there? Hit me with your best shot! <laughs> Trying to sing a song? Oh no, it's a hiker. By the way, that scene was horrible, by the way. Never do that again. Never. So I mucked out level 20 and saw the snake level 20. I'm gonna go get Hell Hydra on this one because he could wreck me with Karate Chop. Or Low Kick. Even that'll do. Just gonna zap Max up to death. And another low kick. You kick me, I bite you. And an onyx. All right. What level is he? Is he level twenty? Hey, mine's a level twenty as well. Uh, well, I'm not gonna fight it. So, but instead, let's go get Wolverine out this time. Go on, Wolver Wolverine's claws are aching for some action right now. Ah, god damn it, man! Really, you're gonna squeak into my earphones right now? Well, it's dead anyway. It's a good thing I don't use squeaks with my Onyx, so I'm all right with it. Fire it away! Oh my god, there's a th there's a reference here. This is clearly a song reference to an 80s song. Oh, a ladder! Oh, come on! And there's Onyx once again, on level 13. What if I rock throw it? Will it do that? No, it didn't do that much. Ah, I didn't use Squeak this time. If you use the Squeak again, I'm taking my earphone piece out. Ha! Ah, didn't get me this time. That failed. Nah, I can't be bothered fighting this Onyx. Wait, where am I going? It's up there! Alright, am I nearly there? No! Oh, there's a zoo back there, which I'm happy. And I'm gonna throw this stupid bat off the ground. In onto the ground, I apologize. I should be nearly there by now. Oh, there's another trainer, isn't there? Oh! No. Wait a minute. Did I just come back where I was? I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. Let me wreck that Zubat first. I've gone back, haven't I? 
Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, I haven't. Alzheimer's like you need to show me some respect. What have I done? Did I touch you in the dark? Actually, that, that, actually that's bad, that's bad. Ignore that. Did I, uh, uh, hang on, let me rephrase that. Did I bump into you in the dark? Let's get Wolverine out. Because he, he's, he's been aching. And wait a minute, I just realized something. That you do news self destruct. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Oh, bullet dodged! Bullet dodged! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was lucky. I knew he was gonna do that. And a graveler! Oh my god. First time we saw a graveler. Atticus one shot it! So pretty, pretty much, you press, I give up button. That's what you did! And you did give! Oh my god! He just pretty much says, I give up now. Wait a minute, I got a feeling this is the last room. We're nearly out. We're nearly out. Come on, let, let's, just, let's just get out of here, I don't care at this point. We should be out. Oh, come on, really? Hikers leave twigs as trail markers. Really? Because that should have been helpful if you give us something candles or some stuff like that. Mm, there's a giggly puff. Level 21, I guess my level 21 level. Oh, wow, it had to miss. Uh, disabled didn't work because I didn't attack. Well, it might have missed, I don't know. Either way, I'm just going to keep throwing rocks at a balloon. Oh, apparently that moves physical. Oh, that's great. What if I body slam it? Man, that's a tough balloon. Oh, what did it use? Oh, rock pro. Right. I'm going to take my earphone piece out because it's going to use Screech. Greatly fell. Now I'm gonna. Oh, it's disabled. Crud. Ah, oh, disabled no more. Oh, nice. Critical hair made a blue gold pop. A piggy. This this will be great because flying types, throwing rocks at it equals kill. No, my God. I might want to save that rock throw though. Might want to save that. So I'm just gonna tackle it. Come on, really? Oh, it's unaffected. Really? Because we're equally leveled. And a Meowth. We meet again, Meowth. I've been expecting you. Oh, come on, really? It missed. Fine, I'm gonna squeak it again. Earphone piece out. Here we go. Okay, that noise isn't irritating enough. For all you Let's Plays out there who's playing the first two generation Pokemon games that decide you use Screech, take your ear from peace out. Oh, great. At least I got Tackle. Thank God as well. Come on, I used Screech twice. It should have KO'd me out. You did your best, all right. Good, I just want to get the hell out. No, I just want to go. I mean, look at my runtime on the episode. It's like nearly up to 35 minutes. Jeez, man. Oh, give me a break, man. Can you beat my power? I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna plow through this, get out, and that's it, just edit the episode. Let's go, Aqua Bowser. Let's go. As long as that one doesn't use self-destruct. Wait a minute. Come on, trench him. Trench him. Good.
You know, as of right now, this is probably the longest episode I have recorded in Pokemon Blue Nuzlocke. Or maybe in my whole YouTube thing so far. Because I don't usually record this much. And this long as well for an episode. Well, luckily that gravel is down. Critical hit. Glad. Good. Sooner the better. I'm surprised how Kripalzo hasn't leveled up. Please let me out. Just please let me out of this freaking cave. All I want is just to get out. This should be- this should be- Oh, come on, really? I should have brought- Oh, nuts. You're not gonna steal my Pokedex. Hell no. A slowpoke. I'll tell you what, right, rather than just ending the episode of me getting out of the cave, I'm just gonna end it after this battle, alright? So, let's just plow through this out of the way and move on. Don't you dare disable Thunderbolt. Oh, thank God. I was gonna say, this will be quite tedious if um, Thunderbolt is disabled for a, couple, for a few turns. Another slowpoke. Once again, Thunderbolt. Are you gonna give me another slowpoke? Another one at all? Yep, another slowpoke. Three slowpokes, man. Three of them. Oh my god. Man, oh man. I know you're jealous. Right, I'm just gonna end this episode right here now, because I think I may have got myself lost, and the time span as well. Flippin' hell. So, this is the Water Strider here. Hope you comment, share, like, and subscribe, and have a good day.